Okay, question two. Three particles, P, Q and R, with these masses are moving on the same straight line. P and Q are moving towards each other with speeds U and 8, and R is speed 3, in the same direction as Q. Immediately after the collision, P and Q, their directions and motions have been reversed, but their speeds unchanged. Calculate U. So the first thing, we're just looking at the initial uh, collision between P and Q. Um, I, I like my before and after little diagrams for these things. So I have a before diagram. Here we've got P with mass 0.4, that's supposed to be 4, and there's Q 0.3, and we've got this is U, and this is 8, I think that's what the question said, wasn't it? So there they are. Afterwards, we've got them with the same speed, but directions have been reversed. So it looks like that. And I'm going to take this direction as being positive. Um, it's, it's a good idea, isn't it, just to clarify that before we start. So we're going to do a conservation of momentum. Equation. And we're going to say that beforehand we had 0.4 times u minus 0.3 times 8. And afterwards we had minus 0.4u plus 0.38, 0.3 times 8. That's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Sorry. Um, and so we get, what do we get? Bring all the u bits, we have 0.8 times u, and we've got 2.4 plus 2.4, so 4.8. So u must be 4.8 divided by 0.8, which is 6 metres per second. There we go. I, I seem to remember I was doing pretty well with that, actually. Um, that's the key equation, isn't it? Getting that right. The next collision is between Q and R. And after the collision between Q and R, particle Q is at rest, and R has speed 9. Calculate M, because remember, we didn't know the mass of R, did we? So we're doing a, another before and after diagram. We've got Q. Well, actually, we, this doesn't depend on what we did in the first bit. We're told that Q is moving with speed 8, and it has mass 0.3. We've got R, which we're told initially is moving with speed 3 towards Q, so there we are, and that mass is M. And then we've got after, the question says Q, does it say Q comes to rest? Q is at rest and R is speed 9. Q is at rest. And R has speed 9. Now, if Q is at rest, then R must have rebounded, wasn't it? So R has speed 9 in that direction. Otherwise, it would have had to have left over Q somehow. So that's, that's Q and that's R this time. Right. So again, using the conservation of momentum equation, we're going to say that uh, 0.3 times 8 plus M times minus 3 is well, 0 plus m times 9. There's our equation, which gives us 2.4 minus 3m is 9m, so 2.4 is 12m, and then dividing by 12 we get m is 0.2 kilograms. There we go. Um, and again, once we've got our direction correct, we're all plain sailing through that one, aren't we? Great. That's maths.